John, a computer that addresses the special needs of the severely handicapped is out on the market. It gives back some of that independence lost to major disabilities. Today, Rich Amata attended a Tucson computer show where it's being demonstrated. This screen image represents complete control over a room full of appliances. Want to turn on a radio? It's as easy as moving that little dot they call a cursor. The same goes for turning lights on and off or dimming them. You simply move the cursor. And in this case, you don't even need the use of your arms or hands. Lon Safko is the chief executive officer of the Phoenix-based Safco International. And here, he's demonstrating his Sensei computer using only a sensor headset with a blow tube. Safco isn't disabled, but even if he were paralyzed from the neck down, he could still use this system to control the appliances in his home, write a letter, or make a phone call. Just by hitting dial, the computer connects to the telephone, generates the code necessary to dial the telephone, and then puts the conversation through the computer. You can run 255 appliances, which is more than what I have in my house. Uh, lights, air conditioning, heating, security, even sprinkler systems. The technology was developed a couple of years ago, and they've been testing it ever since. Now the company is ready to begin its big marketing push. Safco hopes insurance companies will pick up most of the cost and help bring the severely disabled into a computer age of greater independence. Rich Amata, TV4, Eyewitness News. That computer system sells for about $10,000. The manufacturer hopes to sell them internationally.